Hello everyone, welcome back to IT Master Tech News channel. As I promised, I will show you how to convert OnePlus Ace Pro, which is Chinese version of the OnePlus 10T, to global version. But before we move forward, we need to unlock the bootloader of this device. And for that, we need to enter uh, developer mode. To do that, you should come here settings then find the go to about device go to version then seven time click to build number i am already developer that's why it's not doing if you click seven times you will see that you are developer after that you need to come back here system settings and you will see developer options enter here from here, you need to activate OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. All these three need to be uh, activated. After doing this, we need to come here, which I have downloaded all the necessary tools to convert and I will leave link in the description. So from here, you need to, after unzipping the ADB setup you need to come and install this one I have already done this this is pretty straightforward you just double click it and it will uh, do the installation when you click next for the platform tools after you extract the folder I cut it and paste it on the my C drive it should be here it includes all these tools needed for unlocking and flashing. So it needs to be on the local disk C root uh, drive. So for the moment, uh, we are doing uh, bootloader unlocking. So what we need to do? We need to come here. Uh, our phone is in developer mode and it has USB debugging and OMN unlocking on. So we connect the cable to the phone, it's connected. We see this menu after the cable is connected and you, if it's correctly installed the drivers, you should see this menu. You should click transfer files. You should, you should see this screen on your phone and click allow. And after that, you will see your PC shows Ace Pro, which is connected. What you need to do is open platform tools and by holding in an empty site, holding shift, right click here and you will see the window saying open command prompt here. I have already done this and you should see this path on the command prompts. I'm running on Windows 11, but it's all applicable to Windows 10. I'm not sure about Windows 7 or 8 because this guide is strictly for Windows 10 or 11 version. You should see this. Once here, you need to type ADB devices. Once you typed ADB devices, you should see your device. It's different number, but this is how it should look like. And you should type here ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. Once it's command run, you can see phone is rebooting and you will see the this screen if you did everything correct you should see this screen if you don't see this then you need to check your drivers and see if you done everything right once here we need to do the bootloader unlock this is very important if this will erase your phone your data everything will be gone so please sure you have a copy backup or if it's a brand new phone, then you don't need to worry. Also to make sure if your phone is in uh, the desired mode, you can go to device manager and you should see Android ADB interface. This is how it should look like. So now we will type fast boot flashing unlock. Click here. So it says, okay total time and you will see 
this screen on your phone. Please remember that this is going to erase everything. From here, we need to select with the power, with the volume rocker, select the option, unlock the bootloader. And by unlocking bootloader, it's a disclaimer. So we will select, it will become blue, unlock bootloader and click power button. After this full phone will be fully erased. And it will show always, unless you will relock the bootloader, it will always show this warning that bootloader is unlocked and can't be trusted. After we will flash the uh, global version, we will relock the bootloader so we will be able to use phone for the NFC payments, etc. So now it's bootloader unlocked and phone will be fully wiped, all data will be deleted. And as I said, you will always see this warning screen. So this is how we unlock the bootloader. So next steps will be flashing the global firmware to Ace Pro. Stay with me guys. It can take a while after bootloader unlocked. So no worries if you see this screen. Just be patient, wait to phone uh, boot up very first time. It will be factory reset. And we need to set up phone from the beginning as we did in during the unboxing. So click here, select English, click next. So again, now we need to go to settings to about device, make phone again, developer mode. Going version, tapping build number seven times. You are now in developer mode, going back. Going back here and under system settings, we should see developer options. Clicking here, it's on. And now we need to select USB debugging. And the way I'm unlocking is grayed out because it's unlocked, bootloader unlocked. You can see it says bootloader unlocked. So we need the USB debugging and nothing more. Once again, we will connect the cable after we do that developer things we should see hello USB debugging we click always allow and click allow button at this point we need to start flashing the previously downloaded global firmware to our Chinese version of the phone for this we need to enter the fast boot D which I will show now how to do that. Once we enter the second time here, we need to copy the command ADB reboot fastboot and click enter. After this, we should see phone with the rebooting in another mode. Okay, this is the fastboot D screen. And currently PC is doing some driver changes as you can hear the sounds. And to ensure we are in the right place, we need to open device manager, sorry. And under device manager, we should see Android ADB interface. This is also means that we have done everything right and on the phone screen you should see this. At this moment we just type the exit from the CMD console and just exiting that. From now on the process should be going on other way which I will show you now. Coming back to the place where we downloaded our files, this is our firmware and we have this release which was extracted from here. I will suggest if we cut and paste this firmware to the release folder. And from here, this is the main flasher for the firmware. So we need to click and open run as administrator fastboot enhance. 
you should see your device name here is everything is correct and device meantime should be seen this screen and after double clicking to device we will get the flashing tools so secure boot disabled fast boot yes so from here there is a another uh, important option if you have used your device previously or updated in the Chinese version you need to delete the COV files to make sure if you have those COV files you need to go here partitions and under the filter name click COV as you can see there is nothing filtered because this device was brand new and never updated previously for Chinese version but if you see any of COV named files here you should delete them because that will break your device as you can see there is no files ending or starting in COV currently but for your for your case you need to ensure that there are no any COV files before going to basic properties and clicking flash payload bin once we here we click flash payload bin and we show the place we put it that software which is here payload bin and we click ok after this process will start we need just to be patient because it can take a long time and this green bar will not move faster so don't panic let's just wait and see how it's moving on meanwhile phone is shows this screen which is normal and we need to just wait for this process to be successfully finished okay almost there operation completed this means that we successfully finished the flashing we click ok here and we are coming to our phone with the volume rocker we select English and click the power button and from here we click format data and please enter verification code shown here it can be different on your phone and format data all user data will be erased we click format and after this we'll wait until phone data formatted okay and phone will be reboot after rebooting the phone you should see this global firmware animation and we need to wait a bit here maybe two three minutes because it's very first booting and it can take a time which is normal so let's just wait here okay as you can see it says hello no Chinese stuff there we are moving forward selecting English select the region you want I just select the US turn off so you see it says oxygen OS now so we successfully flashed to the oxygen OS now we have a phone global version of the phone we select the settings go to about device and then you can see it says oneplus 10t 5g model is changed as well so 16 gb everything is good at this point we need to enable again developer mode so we will be able to relock the bootloader because if we not relock the bootloader we will not be able to use the bank applications and other secure applications so we need to go to again about device then android version click version here and top seven times to build number we are the developer mode go back and we need to one 
step back and now it should be in different I think it's in additional settings yeah it's developer option is now on the additional settings we click here see bootloader is unlocked which is not good so we will enable USB debugging and then we'll reconnect phone to the PC connected cable we select file transfer and again we trust allow USB debugging this part with phone is finished we will come back to PC and close this application we don't need this anymore and we will be come back to ADB folder where are the platform tools are and we need to open command prompt window here okay now we are in the command prompt which is CADB we select ADB devices you see device is connected we need to enter again to bootloader mode so we type the command adb reboot bootloader and phone should be rebooted to bootloader here you will see it will happen soon so now you have this screen which is bootloader screen and from this point we need to copy command fastboot flashing lock let's do that real quick so fastboot flashing lock click it and then we will see the screen when we unlock the bootloader now we click the we select with power a volume rockers lock bootloader which will make a blue and then we click power option so now phone will be rebooted and you will don't see any more orange state which means we successfully lock the bootloader and phone will be reboot and wiped all data this is it guys hope you enjoyed the video and you can convert your chinese devices to global version as you can see phone is still wiping to lock the bootloader and please like share if you find my video useful and put your comments under the video.